What's up guys? It's me, Ryan, and you're watching Motivation in Motion. Powerful belief system number three. Whatever it takes, take responsibility. Whatever it takes, take responsibility. Now, last Saturday, um, me and my family, family went to our monthly gathering in our Light of Jesus community, the feast. And then our speaker, Brother Dexter, spoke about, um, he discussed about the things about who created lies in our life. So the one responsible for creating lies in our life are the devil. Because he, he was he's already defeated. So he wanted to gather people to feel defeated too. Because he don't want he don't want the people to win. Because he the devil itself is already was already defeated by God. That's why he wanted to spread this this lies that the the, the, the things that happens to us is really real. Take for, for, take for example, if we are working something, um, if you are working something in our dreams, in our projects, or whatever it is, if you wanted to make some changes in our life, along the way, there's always a struggle, right? There's always an ups and down. And then it's really easy for us to, to blame someone if we weren't able to make some changes. Like, for example, if you wanted to change some um, smoking because you were doing that for almost 10 years, you cannot um you cannot stop so what you want so what you want now is just to blame the people around you because um you would say my parents my brothers my sister my mother is a smoker that's why i'm also a smoker i cannot do anything about it so we always tend to blame the people around us like for example um if you grow up poor that's how your mindset works you tend to blame people around you. You you tend to blame your neighbor. You tend to to blame your parents again. You you tend to blame everyone. That this is what happened to me because of the people around me. They're too negative. That's why I'm negative. Now, guys. Basically, those are just lies. You know, those are just lies that um, give us the limiting belief. That's why we cannot move on. Yeah, just think of it. If you, if we, I know you hear this um, story in the Bible, right? The, the battle between David and Goliath. It's really powerful story because David is just a young guy. And he was able to defeat this giant from the Palestine named Goliath, right? So at the end of the story, David won the fight. Why? Because he has this mindset that he's a victorious, he's a winner. He didn't um, think that at the end of the fight, he will be defeated or he's going to be defeated. So he take charge to himself. He, th he thought that whatever happens to this fight, I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to bring Strylights to back to the throne. So that's what he think and especially he also he also thought that God is behind the scenes in our, in our life. God is helping us. Yeah, and that's really true, guys. So if we do have if we are working towards our goals and dreams in life, in life, we just have to remember that there's always ups and downs. Like you see if you see the if you see in the hospital, like I don't know what do you call that? If there's always life at always up and down it means we're alive we're still kicking so if, if it's already a straight line then that's the time we're dead so it means to say if we are still living in this world and we do have purpose to achieve then expect that along the way there there are things that that's going to be unpleasant for our side but that doesn't mean that we're a failure there's because there's no such thing as failure guys there's always um, if you win, then good. And if you lose, then you learn something. That's it. So, em always embrace this philosophy, philosophy because most of the successful people always believe that whatever happens to their life, they took responsibility on it. They don't blame anyone. They don't complain about their job. Um, what they do is just continue. Look forward. 
I also remember uh, when yesterday um, I, I I was listening to our mentor Angie. Um, he's, she spoke about his life story because she was she was a farmer before, but that doesn't stop her to become a millionaire or to become successful in life to inspire more people because she never looked at the past. She always focused on how to help other people and how to inspire people and how to touch other people. So that's the most important thing. Okay, if you wanted to be, if we wanted to become a successful or a blessing to someone else. We really have to embrace that whatever we says or whatever we do, it is our responsibility. You may believe it, you may believe me or not while doing this video. Well, I take full responsibility. You may like me or not, but I'm just spreading the good vibes. All right. So I hope you learned something from this video and see you next time. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Just remember, whatever it takes or whatever happened, take responsibility of your life. Thank you.